Welcome to the College of New Jersey. I'm the college's chemistry building, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. It's a beautiful spring morning here in Ewing, New Jersey. The spring flowers are blooming, the trees are starting to show off, and it's still quiet as the sun rises. I'm lucky to be one of the buildings by one of the lakes on campus. It's always relaxing to look one direction at the lake, or in the other direction at the fountain, once they started up for the summer. I'm fortunate in many ways. I'm close to good friends, physics, biology, math, and statistics. We're all relatively new facilities, well stocked with tools needed for science teaching and research. Here's one of my classrooms, a typical smart room on campus. It holds 24 people because we like to keep class sizes small. It has a projector and a box that holds a computer and a DVD player, giving faculty lots of options. One of the labs on the first floor is for general chemistry. Most chemistry majors start taking this course. The labs are great. There's no bad seats. It looks like they're getting ready to do polyprotic acid titrations this week. Always exciting, don't you think? When they built me, they made significant investments in equipment for teaching and research. In this lab, there are HPLCs and two mass spectrometers. Here's my new atomic absorption spectrometer. Here is one of the NMRs in the NMR lab. We currently have two. This is one of my favorite rooms, the forensic laboratory. There's always something interesting going on in here. The inorganic lab has this great glove box, which is important for students to learn how to use. The organic labs on the third floor are true state-of-the-art facilities, where students are trained in how to do organic chemistry safely, working in fume hoods. Also, all of the faculty have research labs. They're all quiet now, but soon students will be working in them and will fill the building. We also have places where students can sit down to do work or study between classes. One of my favorites is the bridge between the chemistry and biology buildings that has been set up as a lounge or study area. While some head for the sofas, others like to spread out on the tables to do work. Here's an area where you'll often find Dr. Hunt who teaches organic chemistry. He holds office hours here, and the couch is often filled with some students while he answers questions on the board. Dr. Hunt even contributed the couch to this area. Throughout the building, you'll see many posters that describe the research that students have completed and often have presented at national meetings, such as the American Chemical Society meeting. This is Dr. Bradley's office. It looks like she's been busy lately with two of her students' posters on the wall. Probably the most important spot in the chemistry building is Joyce's desk. Joyce is the secretary, and everyone knows that there's always a treat waiting for them on her desk every day. Well, I just heard Pam Schmier open the chemistry stock room, and Leon Dominiak, our instrumentation specialist, open his office, so it looks like we're open for business. Both general chemistry labs are running. It looks like in one lab they are doing titrations manually. In the other, they are using computer-assisted instrumentation to do a titration. I can see Dr. Robinson in there working along with the students. Both organic labs on the third floor are busy as well. It looks like Dr. Bradley is teaching one of them. In a large university, a class like organic chemistry may be taught by an instructor and several graduate teaching assistants. At TCNJ, faculty teach the lecture and the labs, so you get very personal attention from our faculty. It looks like one of our classrooms is busy. It's Dr. Wong, our analytical chemist, teaching his instrumental analysis course. All right, it looks like the research labs are opening up and students are beginning to work. This is Dr. Sen's lab. This is Dr. Arvanitis's lab. Her students may already be in one of our instrumental labs doing experiments there.
One of the rooms that the chemistry students like best is the computer room. You may find all sophomores in here one hour, and then all juniors in here the next. They often work together on projects or lab reports, and it's a bit of a social spot as well. I hope that you've enjoyed this little tour of the chemistry building at the College of New Jersey. I hope you've seen that we have new facilities loaded with scientific instrumentation, and more importantly, a vibrant group of faculty and students who are involved in both teaching and research. If you're a high school student considering a career in the sciences, we hope that you will consider the College of New Jersey in Ewing, New Jersey. Come see me!